guys. Um, today, actually, I'm just going to be talking over this video, so hope you guys don't mind, but I'm just going to start off, like, what's my, um, coming after winter, what's my spring routine, and I'm just wearing my quad shirt. So, just to take excess makeup off from my skin or anything, any oil, I make a wipes are the best. Any leftover mascara, anything that will come off, any oil on your skin, it will absorb. Since I didn't have any makeup on today, so it just not bad, huh? This product, it's called Pro Filler from NYX. So we're gonna use that as a primer. So I mean, it's on you. How much time do you have in the morning? But if you don't have a lot of time, I would just skip the primer but if you're going um long day at school or long day at work I would suggest taking extra five minutes and applying your primer. So for my foundation I'm actually gonna use the blending brush. Uh the blending sponge. <laughs> Shin, um it's been a long time since I've videoed myself so I actually use Studio Fix um NC25. Yes, I read it right. contour so as you know we all fan of it so let's just be real and let's do this so for um for contour I'm gonna use LA Pro Girl, LA Concealer Pro Girl there we go you know what I mean so I'm gonna take a line start a line from here Totally on you, like how thick or lighter do you want your um, highlight to be. So for the nose, since this is, has an applicator on, so it's not going to be so hard. So I'm going to take it. Okay. I'm going to bring it down in here, okay? And we're gonna cut this part so it makes my no nose look shorter. For a wider nose, you're gonna be lens gonna be a little wider. For I'm gonna make my nose look smaller, so I'm gonna artificially draw the lines uh, a little more smaller than where it should be so that's how you do it and if you have a bigger forehead go ahead I like my features, so I'm just gonna contour the basic. If you have messed up line, don't worry about it. That's like all I can tell you guys. But um, for concealer, we're gonna be there. We go. So I'm gonna stop. 
We need a T right there. So you know what I'm talking about. So if you have any enter eyes, um, here we are to cover, cover that up. I mean, this is, has an applicator, so it's a lot easier to work with. And if you have a bigger nose like I have, so we always um, highlight this area right in here to make the nose look smaller. So I'm going to do that in here. Bring my highlighter right there. So it's going to appear making my nose look smaller, okay? So first we're going to um, do the contour, okay? We're just going to blend that up. After that, I'm gonna bring my mirror close a little. So there we go. I know my nose line look crooked. I just noticed it. So just dry your best. I was looking at the. Thing. Also me always forgetting things, right? So that's how you're gonna look like pretty much. Um Studio FX um powder foundation. I'm gonna set everything up where my foundation is and I'm gonna um highlight and contour with this palette and then whatever left I'm gonna set it up with this okay so for contour I'm gonna use this brush and any color that matches up with your skin you can use that I'm gonna use this one right here gonna help it. Don't worry, I'm gonna blend everything together later, okay? So right now I'm just doing what I need to do for my nose now. I'm gonna blend my contour what I did, okay? <laughs> you my this brush, um, that's from Sonia Cash, right? So I'm just gonna buff this one out, buff this one out, take care of the side of my nose. So after that I'm gonna take my highlight, I'm gonna use the yellow tone since I'm brown I have yellow undertone. So. I'm 
take a small brush and because I'm gonna make my nose look smaller so I'm gonna stop right in here okay To make my nose look and face look a little narrow, I'm going to take the same yellow color that I'm highlighting with, I'm going to take it right into here. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So up and down. Whatever the area left, I'm gonna use um, after highlighting and contouring whatever the area is left. I'm gonna use my um, powder to set it up just to go over everything lightly so everything blends nicely and I would have my skin color over it. brush and this blush from um uh, it's plum wine from uh Maybelline so I love their bouncy blushes I'm addicted to them so depend on how much blush you're gonna use my highlight actually so I wanna use the highlighter from this palette so we're just gonna Give us a little sheen. Okay, so that's not important. The fun was going on. <laughs> so after that. Let's move on to the eyes. Everybody has their choice what to do on their eyes. Just prep your eyes before you do anything. All I can tell you is right now, <laughs> prep your eyes. I mean, it um, doesn't only make your eyeshadow last longer, it's your makeup gonna stay way longer than you think it does, actually. So. You're not gonna crease or anything like that. For that, I'm gonna use my Morphe's palette. I actually recently bought it. It's all those beautiful colors, and you guys can see the colors I've been using and all that good stuff. I wanna say crap, but who cares? We said it. We say it. We said it. Okay. So, um, for the eyes. I'm actually gonna use this brush. Okay, what's the difference between this brush and this one with the little loose bristles? This actually packs more. This actually packs less. And it's like my eyeshadow fall down with this. That's the only thing I don't like about this. The tighter the bristle, the more control I have with this one. So, the more coverage, go with the tighter bristle, less coverage loose bristles. Easy way to explain it. <laughs> Alright, so um, for my highlight I'm gonna use this beautiful champagne color in here. It's a very pretty champagne. If you find it go to Morphe's you can see their palettes. It's right there. So that's what I'm gonna use for my highlight and for my under eyebrows. So I'm just gonna right in here. We're gonna come in as a C, half C or little C, I would say. I'm gonna look at it in here because you can't really see it. In the there we go. Our eyes look a little awake now for us. 
and I'm gonna actually do my highlight under my brows because I don't want to mix up the eyeshadows after I'm start applying it it's, it's not a fun thing to do so I'm gonna just swipe out my brush on my you can actually save your um, towel and they have all those fancy things and you can actually wipe down your brush it's it's gonna make it a little damp but it's good if you want a little color a little more coverage to your um, eyes all right for a daytime look I would go stick with neutral since I'm wearing something grayish something maroon so let's do something gray and something wild okay so I'm gonna take um, this metallic gray in here it's, a, it's not a very nice gray but it's gonna come up nice so and pick up the product see it's coming out nice so that's what I like about this For the blending purposes, I'm gonna use this color in here. I don't know how well you can see that right there. And then I'm gonna use the darker shade of um, this kind of dark chocolatey. So, that's the bad, huh? And I'm gonna do, um, black in here, okay? I'm probably going to do the same thing to the other eye. I mean, you can totally do the step first and that later. How are you comfortable? But if you don't know where you're going to place um, your color, then I would suggest doing your eyelid first, then like go back and see where you're going to place it. So after that, I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to try to blend everything together. This side has a little more color than the other one, which is alright because I'm gonna go ahead and do a little um, circle up here, so, which is fine with me, but. I mean, we're blending in nicely. I'm gonna close up and see. I like it how it's coming out, so. That's pretty much for the eyes. And let's do a eyeliner and 
all that good stuff. So for eyeliner, I'm gonna use um, Benefit. Yay! I don't want to reuse that, right? Like their cat eye eyeliner is perfect for everything. So I'm gonna close up a little more. I have to because I can't see. Sorry guys, my camera stopped recording, so after I applied, um, I just applied my eyeliner, so I actually use um, this pencil, I'm going to line it on my waterline. And we can use the brown color we used for under my eyes, just to... and give us some color on the bottom. Since I did um eyes very neutral, I'm gonna go really nice with the lips. Uh, next, um, Velvet Soft Matte Cream. Lipsticks are great. Lip glosses. This set has lipstick, so I don't wear lip glosses, so this is a great for me. It's a plus, plus.
Alright, so I applied the lipstick and I forgot I didn't put mascara on. Like, who would skip that but me? Because I got pretty, pretty lashes. Can you believe somebody actually pulled my lashes in my class one time to just to make sure I wasn't wearing a fake lashes? Bitch, really? But it wasn't my friend, so.